here in Orleans at the Sunoco, starting off our weekend good. <laughs> Bow trucks need fuel that are going down to Beatersville. Don't know about that one yet. <laughs> I mean, we're not filling those tanks up. No way. We're not responsible for that one. But Hannah's going to be pulling the 50 foot wedge with the 69 low star to Louisville. So Louisville is about an hour and a half from us. Get a little interstate drive going. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, we got the 59, the 69, and the 65 loaded down with all our stuff. It'll be our first booth at Petersville, so that's exciting. So we're, we'll do some rollers on the we're way there. These shirts. <laughs> so we'll do some videos while we're there and stuff like that. going to unload the load star and then take the trailer to trailer parking and then we gotta go wash these things because they're all dirty You feel better? Yeah, I drank two bottles of water on the way here. How was it under there? hotel parking lot and in the meantime my truck would not start like cranked and cranked and we couldn't figure it out so we came here back with the tow bar to I don't know we were gonna just abandon the trailer and tow my truck to the hotel but it ended up being a battery cable that was loose and I don't I mean it cranked so it was very confusing we didn't I thought I blew my truck up on the way here I don't know but yeah. it started and it's all right. Our lives are complicated. <laughs> yeah, but what was getting more complicated, we were going to have to unhook this trailer, put it on the farm truck. Our trailer's like out of a swamp. I'm waving at myself in your glasses. Like, who are you waving at? <laughs> so our trailer don't have jack, only has one jack. So we're going to have to find a way to lift the trailer up, put it on this truck, tow this truck with our tow bar, that we just got done hauling the load star that way. I just wanted to get here, unload the stuff, clean the trucks up, make laps around town. But instead, we've been in this parking lot for what, an hour? Oh, at least, more than that, yeah. Because of a freaking battery case. <laughs> for now, on, let's have a good time. All right. Uh, 
day down here. And there's no one on the road, so we like that. So that's going to conclude our Beatersville video. You just seen Hannah's truck pulling the 69 Lodestar. Her truck did good. The Lodestar, all they had to do was show up and look good. And, um, and it did that. Yeah. So we had a little incident with Hannah's truck when we got there. The battery, the battery terminal was loose and the truck went start. We didn't really film that because, you know, we were trying to get that done. And then the only other incident we had was we left our trailer in downtown louisville which is already sketchy but where else are you gonna put a 50 foot trailer and um so we left it we left it there friday saturday night and uh we came back in the morning and the little toolbox on it was kind of well it was open so we knew that someone had got into it and couldn't figure out how to get it shut but the winch was still there so we're like yeah we're, thank so God. we're good yeah and i Whenever we left, I took some of the tools out of the toolbox. So there wasn't much in there, but someone stole some screwdrivers on some pliers, whatever. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. But I went back the next morning, like she said, checked the trailer, the winch and everything was there. I, I think you guys know where this is going. Anyways, I go back at 10 o'clock, the winch is still on the trailer and this is daylight now. And we go back at 5.30 to load the load star on. It has no brakes. Someone stole our winch. Um, basically a and we had it literally the length of the trailer yeah. so they have this long cable that they're just dragging yeah, they're, around now and we have the controller so i don't know what they're gonna do they can't get it back in i mean no unless they go to tractor supply and buy it but they got a 50 yeah. they got a twelve thousand pound winch for free it's about a four or five hundred dollar winch and uh they got 50 foot of cable strung out on it but 
it sucks that the winch got stolen, but what even was worse was we were trying to load the load star on the trailer. It has zero brakes. We just kind of limped it to the show. Well, as you can tell, the wedge trailer sits at an angle. So the plan was, was I was going to drive up the wedge trailer because it does drive, just don't have brakes. And Hannah was going to put a chalk under the wheel. Well, about the time I got it up the trailer, I had to put it in neutral so it would stop going up. And she put a chalk under it and we're, yeah, got her, got her hand, got her fingers. Everything was wedged in between. I don't, it happened very quick. Yeah, so, was, and then I'm like, well, let me up there so I can, I mean, the truck is going forward and backward. He's trying to get it. I like, honestly thought we were just going to drive the Lodestar either off the front of the trailer or I don't know. I was just. It was a mess. Yeah. It, I it, mean, it, it worked out, but so I got on top of the trailer and I was trying to open the hood really quick but as i'm trying to do that i'm trying not to get my toes ran over because he's going forward it and was, backward it was a mess but we got yeah, it we, we, fine we had we had help some help from good friends and they came and helped us and um we're helping look out for the man that Corey threatened and thought he had our winch and okay real quick because i know you guys probably don't want to hear us talk when all this, I found out the winch was missing a homeless guy in a That's beat-up car. That's why he lost his voice and sounds yeah. really raspy. And I lost my voice sounds a little raspy because I'm yelling at him because he's going into this homeless community to go beat someone up. I was looking for the winch. the winch. Well, anyways, this homeless guy pulls out and he's in a car and I said, I went up to his car and said, hey, have you seen a winch? My winch was taken off the trailer. Well, he instantly starts laughing, so that that went right through me. So I'm like, so <laughs> is my winch in your car, or where is it at? And he's like, well, check my car. So I'm, like, digging through this dude's trunk, aggravated, and then that guy's getting mad, and he's yelling, and I'm, I'm getting aggravated. That's why my voice is how it is. And then um, he left, and then I'm, like, a nervous wreck after that because I'm like, great, he's going to get all his little homeless friends, and I just picture them coming, like, like Mad Max where they they're all on their cars and they're all crazy with tools and stuff. I like this is it. So I will say Yeah, I had to send his location to a friend so we can hurry up and get that help, friend there. <laughs> it's a mess. I wish we would have kind of recorded that, but in the moment we try to record as much as we can for you guys, but we just can't. So that's why we're telling you. But we really appreciate you guys for um following along with us like i said the trucks did good the, the 59 viking did good the 69 lodestar did good and the 65 ford everything did good we had a great time at betersville betersville is one of our favorite shows it did not rain which is awesome yes yeah, so always rains every year we had a great time it's not betersville fault for the winch nothing it was simply we had the trailer in a bad spot of louisville and it's a shame that you can't i have a lot of trust in people and i shouldn't like I should have took the winch off the trailer, but I've never stolen anything, so I, I just think people don't do that, but they do. People suck, but uh, it's okay. It's it's replaceable, $400, win $400, $500 winch down the drain, but I don't know. But So thank you guys, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Yeah. Earlier. Tell me.